something that needs to be acknowledged with this is finding joy in the present moment. And what I'm explaining here is even before enlightenment, ascension, one gets up and they're going to brush their teeth, they're going to have a shower, they've got things they've got to do. After you become enlightened, you've still got to get up, you've got to brush your teeth and go about your day. So it comes down to, there's always going to be something that's going on. There's always going to be a distraction. There's always going to be something that needs fixing. But there's also going to be joyful and blissful times as well. And through programming and social engineering, epigenetics, the list goes on and on, we can always look at what's going on wrong in our life or wrong in the world. But focusing on goals, a positive attitude and mindset is something that keeps one in a state of a mind, body, spirit balance. There needs to be a balance between everything. With our daily life, time with ourselves, exercising, eating well, could be meditation, doesn't have to be meditation, things that bring you joy, that bring you bliss. There's another aspect to this as well of getting to the basics of, let's say being a spiritual person, if we want to put it that way, we can cut all a lot of clutter out of this, which comes down to being happy, being healthy, and just being a good person and being of service where we can. Coming back to the present moment with the dramas in the world and just observing that you're even feeling that way. And then again, getting back to a place behind that where you're witnessing, you're observing, let's say you're being triggered or there's a distraction in the world. This is the real you. It's shapeless, it's formless, it's unbounded. And this part of you, which is witnessing the human mind observing this physical experience, if connecting to that, one can be, we could say, at a state of equilibrium with one's experience, with what's going on, see things clearly for what they are. But just simply coming back to being a good person what can I do with this situation to make an opportunity out of it rather than let's say seeing it as problematic is finding opportunity with the problem and flipping the status quo that's where the more times that you do that the more that you're starting to create new neuron networks in the brain to deal with situations differently.